talk and use it to overcome his fear of public speaking and he's been writing original jokes and content ever since and he's the new host of the Sunday Comedy Overnight right here at Coots. Here's a flyer if you need it. Coots, do me a favor, make some noise for your next Monday Micro. It's Tim Werner! Did those guys have to give back their drink tickets? Fuck, I would have left too. Yeah. I'm not really good on that. I just kind of give them away. So, as you guys know, I, I like to just kind of get up here and talk about my week. And uh, this week, I was looking through Facebook, and uh, you know, I saw this post. It's kind of the, uh, like a meme, and it caused what could only be described as uh, like an existential crisis. Uh, I was telling my friend, and he says, nobody knows what an existential crisis is. And I said, I'll give it a shot anyways. And honestly, if you guys don't know what it is, don't worry about it at all. Yeah, it's something that only affects smart people. Um, so it, it's something, a lot of you guys know, I come from the world of independent films. And in independent film, uh, we used to call it the poor white guy film. Uh, it's like, oh, poor white guy's job is like stalled out and mid-level management. You know, poor white guy, his wife is only slightly more attractive than average. Uh, poor white guy, his house only has two bedrooms and he never got around to finishing the basement. You know, so, I don't want you to judge me when I tell you about this. Uh, I mean, obviously, if you understood the smart people joke, you're gonna be judging me. Uh, but for the rest of you, like, just, I'm gonna read the, the Facebook post. So basically it says, dating is a great way to realize that dying alone isn't the worst thing that could happen. Yeah. Uh, and and yeah. why that really got to me is, I've been dating for 30 or so years, and, and I think I'm really great at it. I, I love it, I have a great time. But at the same time, I'm still dating. I've never you know, gotten one over the goalpost or the hole in, okay, the hole in one happened. But, <laughs> and, you know, I'm kind of evaluating my life, and, and it's that whole thing of like where, what do I want to do? do I, should I have settled down or whatever? It's, it, it, or, I don't know. I kind of, the way I think about it is, um, I like the game too much to push in all my chips. Uh, that, you know, that's a poker reference. And I used to like to play poker. Maybe I should have just, you know, moved to Vegas and taken up professional poker rather than going to college. I mean, I definitely would have made a lot more money. So I, I figured since I do have all this dating experience, I would throw out uh, some dating tips. My number one dating tip that I, I know is going to help you guys, and basically, that is like when you, you go out to, with a girl, I like to meet girls in bars, uh, it's a good chance to, you know, talk and get to know someone. So. When you buy the drink, you buy, always buy, the guy should always buy the first round, and you simply need to say, I got this round, you get the next round. You know, because dating can be really expensive, and if you're kind of stuck paying for everything, like I have this friend and he says, uh, I don't know why you keep doing it, you should go for a prostitute, because it, it's way cheaper, and you always get exactly what you want. It, it's super obvious this guy has never dated a prostitute. <laughs> but seriously, the, the bot, you know, I'll get this round, you get the next round, works really great. And I've never had a girl, like, you know, think I'm cheap or anything like that. Um, and it, it even works on prostitutes. And it, it, it will also work, like, if you go to a restaurant. Uh, anytime I take a girl out to a restaurant, I'll go ahead and get that the first meal. And I'll, I'll also do, I'll, hey, I'll get it this time if you get her next time. So if the girl, you know, accepts the invitation the second day, you know, she understands that expectation. So, but here's the key, is the girl never wants to. When, when it's, you know, I'll get this round, next round at the bar, it's, it's right there. But for a meal, you know, it's been a week or so, and she's always gonna test you. So here's the thing, when the, the waiter or the waitress brings over the check, puts it on the table, don't look at it. Just look at her and maintain eye contact. Continue to have your conversation, uh, you know, keep sipping your water, and at some point, it usually takes about 10 minutes, her eye will go, and then you're like, okay, got it. 
It'll be another five minutes or so. Keep sipping the water. So two more looks. Another one, and you got her. That's it. And then she'll just grab it. She'll pay for it. She won't say a thing. It literally has worked for me every single time. And even if things don't work out, by the time you get to my age, you'll definitely have saved enough money to afford that sports car that you always wanted. All right, you guys. Thanks so much. And uh, yeah, if you guys want to come to the Sunday open mic, it's a lot of fun. Uh, this week, so what we started to do, we know I know a lot of you guys, you're not ready to write comedy. You're not ready to kind of get up and do your own material. So we started doing some comedic exercises. Uh, this week, we used a random sentence generator to kind of create the premise. And then we had the, the comedians come up with a joke to kind of match it. And we went through the, the more experienced comedians uh, went first. We had two guys that had never been up on stage. Uh, they had never done comedy. And uh, they came up, they both did absolutely amazing, and most importantly, they had a lot of fun, and they also got a drink ticket. So come on Sunday, even if you've never been on stage before, the only way to fail doing comedy is to not try. Seriously, like, I've had more fun bombing on stage than I've ever had sitting at home watching television, which doesn't include porn. Like that. All right, I'll see you guys next week. Thank you so much. Julius, give me one more time for Jim. Come see him on Sunday, Sunday. Sunday. Sorry, I had to take a shot. Tim, who's coming up next, you son of a bitch? Oh, no, it's Justin McCain. Justin McCain! Purr, 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 purr. That's my friend. We're going to take this second Justin McCain set up, folks. Jimmy Flavor, make some noise for Megan and David behind the bar tonight, huh? Oh. Courtney Love killed Taylor Hawkins.